everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. When I was at CES in January, I saw this very cool product called the Tap Lock, and this is the Tap Lock One Plus. This is a fingerprint enabled padlock. We're about to check it out. I'm gonna unbox it, show you how to set it up, and here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the Tap Lock One Plus Smart Fingerprint Padlock. And let's just take a quick look around the box and then we will open it up and see what's inside here. We can see this is a multifunctional utility lock. It works with Bluetooth. Uh, it works with the fingerprint, as we can see there. That's one of the main reasons why I have this and I'm excited to use it. Uh, it says it has three ways to unlock. You can either unlock it with a fingerprint, Bluetooth via the app, or with a Morse code uh, uh, click thing there. Uh, it is waterproof and weatherproof. It has an li uh, industry-leading IP67 waterproof rating. It's fully functional between 20, minus 20 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius or 4 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Man, if you're ever in uh, 149 degrees Fahrenheit and you try and touch a lock, I hope you have gloves on. Um, yeah, it says it's bold and sturdy, has a long-lasting battery up to one year uh, per two-hour charge or 3,500 uh, unlocks. Um, yeah, and a little bit about the app right there, but let's go ahead and just uh, open this up here. So let's, uh, I have my uh, box opening knife here. This is my Benchmade bug out if you are uh, con ever curious. Um, yeah, I get some people asking, so I figure I might as well mention in my videos which knife I'm using. I'm thinking about getting a new one. So if any of you out there have a recommendation for a new knife, please feel free to uh, to shoot me a comment and uh, let me know which knife you think that I should uh, I should recommend. And if you are a manufacturer of knives and you want me to check out your knife, please let me know. I'll be happy to take a look at it for you. So. Um, Let's see if I can get this out here. It looks like this needs to come out from somewhere. Uh, <laughs> be smarter than the box. Be smarter than the box. I think this actually needs to, oh, you know what it is? There's, nope, I thought there was tape right there, but there is not. So, I don't know. I'm, I guess I maybe have to open it up from the bottom here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a moment and figure this out. All right, so there we go. It slides out. It was just down there really, really tight. So we'll just set that off to the side. And here we go. We can see it says tap uh, smart fingerprint padlocks. Let's go ahead and slide that off there. And we'll set this over here so we can take a look. And there is the lock right away. That is very, very cool looking right there. I like that. Um, this thing is really, really has some weight to it. I mean, this if you want to lock that feels like it has some weight to it, this is definitely it. So um, this is this is the back here, we can see it, um, where it says Tap Lock One Plus. Um, on the bottom, it looks like that is the charging connector right there. This is a push button right there. Oh, I think that's the Bluetooth button. I saw the light light up right there, if you see that. So it looks like it's getting ready to, where it can pair up. And uh, yeah, it looks like it wants to pair right there. Let me see if I can actually push it and hold it and turn it off, so. Um, there's that right there. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, so far, it's it's very, very hefty. It's very hefty. It seems like this thing could really take a, a serious pounding if someone was trying to actually get it into it unauthorized. Um, on inside here, we also have um, just some instructions. So we have the user manual. So there's that. We'll have to go through that in a bit and, uh, and read through it so I can get the app going and then get my fingerprint registered so that I can try it out here. So uh, this is just the cable. So this is the charging cable and we can see on here that we'll just get this little bit of plastic off there and we'll set that off to the side. Here is the connector right there. And the only thing that's a little disappointing to me is that this is a proprietary connection. So just make sure that you don't lose this cable because it doesn't use like USB-C or a micro USB or anything. It is a proprietary connector. So um, if you lose this, you're gonna either have to uh, buy another one or find a friend who has one, or you're gonna have to just stop using the fingerprint and use the Morse code. So um, yeah, anyways, that's that. Let's get it all set up, try it out, and uh, I'll tell you how it goes. So I checked here and I, I'm in my iPhone right now and there are actually two tap lock acts. So there's two of them here. There's uh, tap lock, which is the utilities 
and then you have the Tap Lock Enterprise. So I believe it is the first one, the Tap uh, that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up there, and it's going to open up. And now it's going to ask me if I if it can use my various uh, locations. I'm going to put Always, and I'll put OK. And yes, it can send me messages. And so now I can go ahead and I can start uh, adding fingerprints into my uh, into my lock and getting this going. So. Um, let me see if I can do the first one here actually on camera. Let me see if that'll work. So it says add fingerprint, tap. So I'll hit, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and I'll go ahead and hit next. And then it's gonna say tap Bluetooth access. So I'll say uh, yes. And then it's gonna say unlock view history or view unlock history. So I can do that. So I'll hit enter. And now it's going to ask me to sign up and register. So let me go ahead and create an account and get this going. And then I'm gonna see if I can actually add a fingerprint. All right, so I have my account set up. I have my tap lock. Let's go ahead and add this in here. So I'm gonna click the button where it says add new tap lock. It's now gonna say, please turn on the Bluetooth uh, mode on your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap this right there and I'm gonna push it and hold it till it turns on. So I get the Bluetooth uh, going right there. Hold on, let me see, and I'm gonna tap it again. There we go. And now we can see the blue light flashing. We can see right here where it says shoes tap lock. So let's see if you guys can see that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose it right there. And there we go, it says new tap lock successfully. Added new tap lock successfully, I'm gonna click OK. And now I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna change the name of it there since, uh, since I can. So I'm gonna change the name to Larry's Lock. So we will call it uh, Larry's Lock. All right, there we go. So I changed the name, I'll hit done, I will hit next. And there we go, we can add a uh, profile picture if we want. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just click next for the moment. I don't need to add a profile picture right now. And now we can go ahead and we can start adding uh, fingerprints. So you can see there it's asking for different fingerprints on there. It's gonna ask for a uh, index, a thumb, a middle, a ring, and a, uh, and a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting those in. So I'll go ahead and put my left index finger on there first. And let's see if it goes. So let's see if it's, uh, if it's getting there. So we'll do this one right there. We'll tap that. It says, do you want to add this finger? I'll say, okay. All right, so there we go. So now put your fingerprint on the fingerprint reader for three seconds. And let's see here if it's uh, gonna do that. Oh, there we go, just like that. It added my fingerprint successfully. So we'll hit okay. And now it's gonna say, you can choose a different one. I'll choose thumb. It's gonna say, do you want to add this fingerprint? I'm gonna select okay. And now I'm gonna choose my left thumb here. So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna hold it for three seconds, and it's gonna say, there you go, added fingerprint successfully. It was really, really easy, wow. All right, now you can add your middle if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll select yes. I will add a middle finger, so please excuse the middle finger. I'm not trying to flip anybody off. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second, and there we go added successfully. Very, very nice. Now on the right, we're going to do, uh, we'll do the right hand. It says, do you want to add this fingerprint? I'm going to select OK. And so I'm going to go ahead and select my right hand there. And we'll do this one And three seconds. Boom, it added it in. And now we will add the little finger there. So we will add this one in here. And we'll wait for this for three seconds. And boom, it has added it in. And now I have my fingers, my fingerprints added in there just like that. Now, if you want to add a new user, you can click the add user button or you can just go ahead and uh, we'll go back. And now I have my lock there and it's going to ask me if I want to, if I want to watch a video demonstrating how to correctly open the tap lock. I'm going to hit skip since I've already seen it. It says you will, if you would like to watch the video again, the videos again later, please refer to the tutorial section. I'm going to click OK. And now you'll see here I have my lock and it's gonna show me that I can unlock it if I want. And just like that, it is unlocked and I can pull it and unlock it. And just like that, now it's locked again. It shows my battery life, which is showing right now at 90%. And I have my fingerprint right there. It'll show me all those. So now if I wanna unlock the lock, oops, I didn't mean to go out of that. So let's go back into the app and we'll click there. Now, if I wanna unlock the, the um, oh, it's telling me I have a firmware update. So before I click that though, I'm gonna go ahead and click my fingerprint on here. And just like that, it opened up, it turned green, and now I can unlock it. So I'll click that again. And now I can go ahead, if I wanna click it, if I wanna hold uh, my ring finger here from this one, I'll click that there, I'll wait, and it didn't do it. See, it's not, I have to lay it right on there the proper way, I guess. 
If you didn't, don't get it, make sure you get it to go the right way. You'll hear a little bit of a, a beep and a little bit of a click and it will unlock. So there we go. So we'll do my, uh, my pinky finger this time. And just like that, it unlocks. So yeah. So there we have it. That is, uh, that's it. That is pretty cool. It's easy to do. It's easy to work. Um, there is a firmware update, so I'm going to go ahead and update that now. But that is just a quick unboxing of the TapLock uh, One Plus. It's very, very easy to do. It's very, very easy to use. It's very cool, and there's lots of features. I showed you two of the three ways you can actually unlock it. You can set up a Morris code uh, sort of uh, uh, function on here that will allow you to tap buttons and click stuff, I guess, in order to get the lock unlocked if you run out of battery or if um, if you don't have access to the app. So yeah, anyways, there you go. Tap lock, uh, tap lock one plus awesome, uh, awesome fingerprint padlock. Check it out. All right, so what I'm gonna do to test this, I just wanna see how this is gonna work with the weather because well, it's cold out here today and there's supposed to be uh, some rain that's coming tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually put the lock out on my uh, balcony there on the railing and just leave it out overnight and see how it does with the weather and the cold and just see if I can still access it and use it tomorrow. So let's go ahead and uh, put it out on the railing. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is actually unlock this. So let me go ahead and push the power button there to turn it on and let's go ahead and uh, hit the, uh, the button there with my fingerprint, unlock it and there we go. So it's unlocked. Let's go ahead and just stick it. It's not gonna go there, so it's not gonna go there. There we go, it will go there. All right, let's put it the other way actually so that uh, it's facing up. And we'll just go ahead and stick it right there. And now we will close this up. And there we go, it's closed up and locked on there. So now we're gonna come back in the morning and see if after the rain and the cold, if this is going to actually still work. And yeah. All right, so there's a tap lock. It's been out here in the cold for a few days now and it's been in the rain, sub-freezing temperatures. Let's go ahead and just uh, push the power button there and then we'll hit my uh, fingerprint to see if we can get this working and uh, see if that's going to unlock it there. And actually not sure. Let's do it one more time here. Um, let's hit the power button and there we go. Let's hit that right there. And now let's hit the power button. Let's do the fingerprint again. Yep, and there we go. It is unlocked and now we can see there that we have it. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's endured freezing cold temperatures, it's endured the rain and it still is working. All right, so there you have it. That is a look at the TapLock One Plus. And I have to say that this thing is incredibly sturdy and it feels incredible. And it's super, super easy to set up. I mean, I really did not spend any time trying to figure this thing out. I just paired it up with my phone. I had the app downloaded. I paired it up with my phone and it went through and took my fingerprints, no problem. It says, put your finger on to the fingerprint reader for like three seconds and boom, it, that was it. It read my fingerprints, it saved them. And now when I wanna unlock it, I just simply put my fingerprint on there. I first have to turn it on. You turn it on, put your fingerprint on there, hold it for a few seconds and the thing just goes ahead and unlocks just like that and boom, you can unlock your lock. I mean, this is this thing is fantastic. I have to say, it is really, really simple to set up. It's very simple to use, and it's so very, very versatile. I really highly recommend this to anybody who needs a lock for any sort of reason, whether it's locking up your bike, locking up a storage unit, locking up a cabinet, whatever it is, this is really, really fantastic. So anyhow, I'm gonna leave links to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page so you can see all the products that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.